So it's nice and snowy today, as you can probably tell around me. So I figured I would do a little bit of a different setting today. I'm out on a little bit of a mini hike. But today we're going to be talking about how and why to use your DSLR camera for TikTok. Goodness, it is cold out here. But the good news is that this offers a pretty good test if I were to, for whatever reason, out on a frozen tundra, want to record a TikTok video. This would definitely be the place to do it. Okay, so one of the things that you might be wondering is why would you want to record a TikTok video on a DSLR, particularly if your phone makes it that much easier since you always have it with you. One of the interesting things about TikTok is how popular it's become. It's become a great opportunity for anyone to build an audience and to use that platform to build your own audience either on another platform like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or better yet, on your own platform. Now, one of the things I've noticed as I've started to study TikTok a little bit is that there's a lot of people on the platform who see a trend or who see something that's taking off and then copy it verbatim. Now, there's some people who see a little bit of success doing that. However, there's quite a few, and I would say the vast majority who do not. So one of the better things that you could try and attempt, and I've been testing and trying on my own TikTok just to kind of experiment with the platform, it's just doing something that's either A, a spin-off of something that somebody else is doing, or B, your completely own thing. And one of the things that I've noticed and that can seriously help kind of give you an edge or help you to stand out from all the other people creating content on any platform, and in particular TikTok, is to create content that looks and that actually is a higher quality than what other people are doing. Now, obviously, if you have a nice camera and a nice lens and a nice microphone, that alone will not get you views on TikTok. But if you couple that with good content, it's going to give you a much better chance. So to kind of demonstrate that, what I wanted to do is to take what I'm doing here, take this video uh, or a snippet of it, and let's go ahead and compare what I'm saying right now to if I did this instead with my smartphone. Okay, and here is a version with me on my smartphone. And here is a version with me on my DSLR camera. So aside from just the quality of the footage that you're going to get, another thing that a DSLR camera is going to give you is flexibility. Now, when you are recording something directly for TikTok, nine times out of 10, or almost every single time, you're going to be holding your phone vertically and you're gonna be getting vertical footage. What this means is that you're not really going to be able to use that footage in any other place that doesn't allow you to do anything but vertical footage. So let's say, for example, that you're trying to shoot a YouTube video, which I am doing at this very moment. It wouldn't make much sense for me to shoot this vertically because I couldn't use that footage on YouTube unless I was one of those really annoying people who upload vertical footage on a landscape or a wide format video platform. But the cool thing about shooting with a DSLR is because it is already in landscape, what you can do is just shoot in landscape and then crop it down. So a couple of tips for you if you decide that you do want to shoot with a DSLR. First, what you want to do is make sure that you shoot at the highest resolution possible. So for me, I'm using a DSLR that shoots in 4K. So if you can shoot in 4K, that's great. Because what that means is that you're going to be able to keep it in that landscape view and you're going to be able to use that footage other places than just TikTok. So for example, what I'm going to do when I go through and I edit this video is I'm going to go in and I'm going to crop this down to be a vertical view. Then I'm also going to be able to continue to use that footage in the YouTube video as well in its normal landscape view so that it makes it much more versatile. Now what you can do and what some people have done who have shot with a DSLR is you can actually buy a special tripod mount that will actually allow you to capture your footage vertically with your DSLR. Like I said, I don't 
recommend that because again, you're just kind of pigeonholing yourself into what that footage looks like. You can never use it really on any landscape oriented video platform. But if you do want to do that, I will leave a link in the description to a place where you can actually purchase such a tripod mount. So I'm going to continue to experiment with TikTok, but I wanted to share with you just a few quick tips and why you might want to consider dusting off that old DSLR, particularly if you have a nice lens because you're going to be able to get better video and audio, audio quality that people recording with their smartphones are never going to be able to get. Now what I'm also working on and what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm actually going to walk you through a number of tips, editing techniques that you can use in Final Cut Pro to make that DSLR footage for TikTok even better. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in that next video.